James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is November 4th, 2023, 4 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a geomagnetic storm, and I don't believe they're giving it credit. We just got this print of a KP 4.67, which means we're at the very lowest threshold of being in a geomagnetic storm possible. And I'm seeing plasma that's extremely strong hitting the planet. Now, I don't know exactly where this came from, but we're going to take a look and, well, we'll at least point out the probable suspects. Taking a look at the KP indexes, the Fredericksburg Index has shown that we've been in a geomagnetic disturbance for six hours, nothing on the boulder, and the estimated planetary KP index just made this print, but we've been seeing heavy plasma for several hours now. What caused this? I believe the first filament eruption. We'll take a look, though. We're seeing nothing on the college KP index. Usually the most reactive index out of all of them. Now, this is what we have. We have solar winds starting the day at 472 and not moving. Never seen anything like that. Look at the plasma, a straight line. Probably not good data. Then all of a sudden we get a little data and we have two and a half hours of removed data here. Now, what's so bad about what you're seeing here is regularly when we have plasma that's up at 52, 53 centimeters cubed, our shields go positive and they fight off the plasma in the form of the CME, coronal mass ejection, that's currently hitting us. It's not working this time. Never seen it not work, but it's not working this time. They want to go into the blue. They're just not doing it. Uh, they're not consistently staying in the blue, i.e. The way I got here is the Schumann resonance is going off. And I will show you all that the BZ is in the south and the magnetometers are all in the south as well. I've never seen such a strong chronal mass ejection impact. Almost off the charts there, but at least up to 53 centimeters cubed and ongoing for several hours. Guys, we were at 20 centimeters cubed at 1300. It's currently 2100 UTC time or a little bit after that. So you guys can quickly do the math. We've really been in a geomagnetic storm here for, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plus hours with the first the first KP index to hit just now. I guess we had to go over 50 centimeters cubed several times in here to get the KP index to a G1. Well, I'm going to argue that we're actually experiencing a G3 geomagnetic storm right now. So I jumped over to my magnetometer reader. I was setting up to do a Schumann resonance spike, which is actually occurring right now. And remember, I always tell you all, your magnetometer and your BZ will be in the south if that occurs. Well, when I got here, it was past 200, and it was down here at a K7, which indicates that we're actually in a G3 geomagnetic storm, or just were. Now, usually, if a geomagnetic storm or coronal mass ejection this strong hits Earth, Earth's magnetic field or electromagnetic field actually responds and fights the energy off. It's not doing that here. We're getting a simultaneous Schumann resonance spike where we can see everything's in the negative. I'm about to show you the BZ also in the negative. Wow, we're having solar weather, and I mean extremely strong solar plasma strike the planet for the last nine hours. 
And here you go. Uh, this allows the Schumann resonance to bounce off that lower D region absorption prediction level of our atmosphere. We've got a BZ in the south. It should be fighting the actual plasma right now, and it should be strengthening and strong as we speak due to that coronal mass ejection impacting right now. Uh, this is something all new to me. So we're going to have a Schumann resident spike at the same time that we're having heavy space weather. It's because our shields have just gone kaput. Now, this is the area I was expecting to impact today along with this, uh, this M flare here. Uh, I just don't see nine hours of heavy plasma at 53 centimeters cubed in this feature right here, which was the filament eruption. And these, of course, were headed another direction, right? Uh, and we definitely don't see nine hours in this M flare here. So what is hitting us with this strong of a chrono mass ejection? It's going to be a double one-two uh, punch here. It's going to be, I guess, a combination of all of this. Now we're running into tomorrow where we have that huge filament inbound. They were looking for the strongest part of any impact to happen tomorrow on the 5th. It's definitely still the 4th, UTC time and Central time here in the U.S. So with that said, let's take a look at the Schumann resonance that's spiking. Now what we have here is thunderstorms over the station. But what we also have is, if y'all remember, that BZ went positive right here. And then it was negative prior to that, and negative again. So when the thunderstorm swept over the station in Italy, which is happening real time right now, I'm about to show you uh, when, when the BZ was south and when the shields were down, we had these spikes. This is the electromagnetic shield itself that we're looking at. These spikes are very strong, definitely exceed perhaps 800, maybe up to 1,000 hertz. Headed over to our Schumann residence, you can see it's spiking right now off the charts. Problem is, is the geophones weren't even hit that hard, not hard at all. These spikes are being caused because our atmosphere is failing for the first time I've ever seen. And the activity from the thunderstorm over the modeling station in Italy right now is bouncing off the lowest level of our atmosphere because it is very low and collapsing on us while space weather is pounding with radiation. What a great hour this must be. We'll take a look at the agitator and let you see. So we saw that the BZ and the magnetometers are in the negative. I just haven't seen them so negative. And usually, anytime there's space weather, they prop up and try to fight, fight that space weather off. Think of them like a callus on your foot. The more you use it, the stronger it gets, if you will. Uh, that's exactly how our atmosphere works. If it were to be used uh, and actually hit daily, it would strengthen because of that energy and it fighting that energy off. Again, think of it like a callus on the bottom of your foot. All right, this does go up to 1800. So you can see that we've been getting activity here uh, for quite a few hours. It's going to be about nine hours, just what we counted. Uh, that's the geophones themselves. Each line is an hour, and these are 15-minute uh, intervals here. So for about nine hours, we've been getting activity. We've been seeing activity on the geophone. And for all the CERN fans out there, they're certain that CERN is causing uh, these Schumann resident spikes. You're 100% wrong. Again, today is a Saturday. A lot of the scientists that work at CERN are Jewish, and they're not going to be working today. I wanted everyone to see that the modeling station right here near Turin is under a thunderstorm currently. I guess has been. All this has moved through. See if I can take a look at any of that. You can see it's been moving through apparently for nine hours. 
This has been the agitator that the geophones, the LF, the ULF noise picks up. It's the lightning happening. Why is the Schumann resonance spiking so high, James? I've already answered you six times. It's because our atmosphere has collapsed and these, these lightning and thunder bolts and their energy are bouncing off what we call the D region or the closest region to the ground of our atmosphere, whereas just years ago, they would go right through the D region into the E or F region and then head back to the geophones uh, and the other sensors to be recorded. So we're seeing a double whammy here, but this is just really lightning. It's my belief that these Schumann resonant spikes are really just a symptom of our atmosphere collapsing and these lightning uh, or this energy bouncing off the lowest D region and then headed back towards the ground at the modeling agency, i.e. the spikes will get stronger and stronger, i.e. as our atmosphere collapses more and more. That's why they've been strengthening since 2017, whereas before 2017, many of you know, we never saw a Schumann resonance spike that was over 37 hertz. What is that? Because we had a strong atmosphere. God bless you guys. Share. Worry. Please subscribe if you have not. And always remember that anything's possible in bizarro world. I will say it rains a lot over this modeling station. God bless.